All right, hi everyone. Mustard Milan here again. Okay, uh, for my normal viewers, I uh, hope you've all noticed that I've got a new intro. Uh, intro. I uh, took a couple of hours to do that yesterday. All right, today's video is aimed at helping people that are just starting up the uh, marine tank hobby. Uh, try and point them in the right directions uh, and get a good start. You know. <laughs> It's so easy just to rush into things and uh, make a big tit up tit of it, really. So um, here we go. All right. Firstly, you've just been out and bought a brand new tank. Excellent. Right. Um, you're going to have to start looking around, saving money because it's going to start getting expensive. Um, the first things you've got to look into is uh, lighting and the filtration systems it's not worth skimping on the money on them two setups you you know you've got to have good lights and you've got to have a good filtration system right the next thing is all right you've got everything all set up and everything like that you fill it up with salt water and you start your cycle get your sand and your rocks and everything like that and you start cycling right you see it on all of the internet and everything like that about this ATM or cologne and you can put fish in straight away well I'm gonna tell you now it's not worth it there's more important things to spend your money on than things like that are just gonna rush the job okay there's more important things like equipment that you've got to have to start stabilizing things and so on and so on now, I'm going to show you a couple of things that are, that are a necessity in the marine tank. You've got to have them, otherwise you're not going to start properly. So, um, I'd advise any newcomers to do a, 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 a natural cycle, you know, a month and so on, just to get everything stable. You need things stable, you need to learn how to keep the salinity, nitrates and all kinds of things. There's loads of things you can't rush into the marine tanks you know you've got to have everything stable before you add corals invertebrates fish and things like that otherwise they're not going to live okay so the first thing you're going to need is one of these one of these just go out and buy it they're a little bit expensive and i'll explain why because these are what the shop shoes the professional shoes they work and that's end of story all right let me explain you, you can go out and get one of these for like a fiver from a shop great i can tell you now they don't work listen i've used it for a month and all of this bit in here is seized up so it's useless might as well go in the bin but they're not actually accurate anyway right the second thing you're going to need most importantly and you've got to have it is a chemical testing set, set up right you've got to have this to uh, check that your tank is cycled and uh, uh, that's the good thing about natural cycling you know it gives you uh, the experience to know how to use this si systems like this um, it starts you off uh, making records of everything so that you know oh this one's a little bit down or so on and so on and things like that they're worth getting uh, at the moment I'm testing all of the main ones uh, uh, ammonia nitrate nitrate eat uh, uh, alkaline ammonia acidity and I've also uh, doing uh, calcium because I've got uh, corals that need calcium to make their uh, skeletons or whatever they call uh, also uh, magnesium which is to do with corals as well there's also the other one that I haven't got at the moment because uh, it's just ain't got round. They didn't actually sell it in the shop at the moment. So another good thing is you may think that the internet is a great big wide world, but you can't beat a book, right? Even I, after five years, go through this book. It's also got you know it's also got simple things like blemies. setting up your reef aquarium it's all in here you know 
they're worth buying books. A good book is just as good as what the internet is. It's like a little Bible. I always go back to things, you know. It's got, if I buy a mushroom, it's got stuff in there, away you go, everything like that. Right, so uh, obviously uh, you're going to get your water. I'd say a good idea is to get your water from a local fish shop already mixed up. Um, and away you go. I, 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 I do it. I go down to the fish shop every week, uh, get um, half a tank of uh, salt water, half a tank of RO water, and away I go. Uh, that's where this is going to come in. Uh, your refractometer, you're going to be using that every day of the week because you need to keep things stable. It's, it, it, you've got to, to have a marine tank running perfectly. So you're going to be checking the salinity every single day, topping off with RO water. Um, that's that one. Um, uh, when you're cycling, it, you want to be checking uh, for all of the chemicals and things like that probably twice a week. And what you do, you start writing it down on a little sheet just like that, and that's the start of it and you'll see dips and rises in the nitrate and things like that once you're all comfortable with all the things like that and you think you've got the temperature light in chemicals uh water changes everything like that once you think everything is stable and under control and you're satisfied that you can um uh, uh you can control things with water changes and things like that then it's starting to, then you've got to start looking at um, all of the very easy things to keep in a fish tank because there's easier things to keep than what fish are. You know, you've got um, mushrooms, you know, go down the shop, they're only like five, ten quid each, so get them, you know, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, leather toad stores have got. They're, they're great, you know, they get big, I warn you. Um, star polyps, little things like that, little frags that you can pick up once a week or things like that, they're great and they do grow and they look amazing. 